Hi everyone, I'm Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. Thanks for tuning in today. I have another uh, series of questions and answers and thank you so much for writing me. These are really super questions and they apply to a lot of us. Today's question is from uh, Daniel Rivera and he's asking something that you know we've gone through in the past. You get involved with somebody, you're in a relationship and then they, they leave, they just evacuate, their time there is done. And this horrible thing about you know, waiting around, like, do we wait? How long do we wait? Then we're mad at ourselves for waiting. Why are we waiting? So let me read his, because it's in context of a rebound relationship, okay? Um, he compliments me, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, is it possible to talk about not being able to move on from someone who used you as a rebound, and they now moved on themselves? I just feel stuck and stupid about this situation, just waiting around, wondering if they'll ever come back. Um, Daniel, not to feel badly, most of us, when we find ourselves in this situation, you know, we had an investment. We had something at stake. So like any investment, you wouldn't readily walk away from a pile of gold. You would sit there and kind of figure out if you can take it with you and, and how do you get it back or if it's missing, you know? So don't worry about that. That's normal. Uh, I want you to think about this a little bit differently. So let's look in terms of um, the rebound. When somebody chooses you because they're on the rebound, it says volumes about who you are. The person that is chosen always, always, always as a rebound is the safe person. Why? Because catastrophe has just happened. We pick somebody that we know will not harm us. We inherently are smart enough when we've had a boo-boo and we have been cheated on and lied to and dumped and treated terribly. Think about it, are we gonna to go to the same thing again? No, of course not. We go to an innately wonderful, kind, loving, fair, good person, because that's the correction. So what have we learned about you, Daniel? You're a loving, kind, wonderful, safe person who is also relationship material. You are relationship material. You are looking for someone who values relationship material. Not because it's going to be the band-aid that heals their little boo-boo, but because they are ready to participate fully with you. So the question is, as we wait in that horribly uncomfortable time period of are they going to come back? Because you know the days and the minutes, they kind of like it's we wait a day or two and then it, I watch how the hope rises and then dissipates. You know, there's a certain time period where they could call you back and they don't. And then there's, okay, we're right on the edge. No, no, no. If they don't contact me now, I, my pride won't let me come back. And then we pass the point of your pride. They still haven't reached out. And then you have to just face the inevitability that um, they are continuing their journey. So the question is not will they ever come back to me? And why don't they want me? The question really should be at that point. Why do I want them? Why do I want them? I was solid here. They were not. Do I want somebody who isn't solid? I came in with all good intention and to go the full distance. They came in weak, needing a band-aid, got a patch-up job, said thanks a lot, and left. Why would I want somebody with that disposition, that nature, or even that unconscious ability to do that? Conscious or unconscious, why would I want a person who functions from that realm of thinking? That's the question you should be asking Daniel. So, of course, you'd realize, I actually don't want that. As a matter of fact, I have a lot more to give than that. Don't berate yourself for anything that you've been involved in, please. And this goes to all of us. Uh, I just had a, an incredible session with a client on the phone from these videos. You know, the, the purpose of all partnership is the evolution of who we are as a person. 
even when there is a failed relationship, as one would say. Uh, if you do your homework, you see the benefit and you prosper from it. So two people are together initially and there's a growing apart and a separation. If you can look at the good that you got uniquely from them that you would have never had before, what did they inspire in you? What did they bring to light? What, what aspect of you came alive in this relationship that never happened before? And Daniel, you may want to ask your, your, this kind of a question yourself. Is there something that this person brought out of you that you didn't know that you really had? Did you um, find a hobby or an interest that you didn't know you loved? Did they ignite some quality in you or some thought or, or bring you to another level of a relationship? Did they bring you to this video and this answer and this information and this awareness? So whether we're aware of it or not, we are balancing each other in each relationship. And even when it fails, it has completed its task. But it can't complete its task unless we complete ours and do the analysis of what it brought us. That way you always have the gem. You always get the gift. The giver may be gone. They left a gift. It's our job to find that gift. So Daniel, thank you so much. And for all of you, again, if you're waiting and you're feeling stupid, it was an investment. You wouldn't walk away easily. That's okay. Don't beat yourself up. And when you're done with that time period, <laughs> for which there can be no dignity left. Just ask yourself, um, why are you attracted to them? We shouldn't have to sell ourselves. When we are what we are, the right eyes will see us, but we have to see that first. Thanks a lot. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. Keep writing me, please. Subscribe to this station if you haven't already. Uh, check out my iTunes page, the Susan Winter Show. Come to my website. And please look at my coaching packages because if I can talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, that's awesome for me as well. Thanks so much.